Hey, what's up? So let's now see how we can use React with Snowpack. So React uses JSX, and of course, browsers can't understand that. So you need to compile somehow JSX to JavaScript so browsers can understand it. And the good thing is Snowpack supports that out of the box. So the only thing you need to do is to rename your files, for example, to JSX. And in your index.html, as you remember, we are importing this file as a module. You don't need to change anything. Snowpack will compile this into normal JavaScript and this will be uh, this will exist. So the only thing you need to do is just npm run start. And as you can see, as you can see, our index.js have been loaded, not our index.jsx because Snowpack will notice that and compile it to JavaScript. So let's now start writing React. What you need to do is to install, of course, React and React DOM. And let's actually just inside our JavaScript folder, let's create a folder called React Components. And inside of it, my component.jsx. And I will just copy paste super simple code here. So I have this component. And I'm using the use a state hook and this button just displayed the current state each time you click in it It will change the state to new value Okay, so Yeah, this is it. So I am now gonna import this component here and render it in the DOM But I won't do it like at the top. I will use sit timeout for example to simulate maybe a, a button click or navigation to another URL anything so after three three seconds so first thing, let's import React dynamically like this, and I will create, I will make this an asynchronous function, and I will await. Then const React DOM will be equal to await import React DOM. Now const await. I will. And notice here the import statement. I will go inside our React components. Folder, then my component. You don't need to, uh, to type JSX. This will work. So I awaited that, but here uh, I'm not quite sure why, but as you can see, I'm exporting this like exporting this component like this, the default export export. But doing this won't work. I need to actually destruct the default export, then renaming it, if I want to, to my uh, component like this. Now, react DOM to render. I will use, this is a really good thing to use, so it's the strict mode in React. So it, always use this, it will give you some really good information while you are developing, while you are developing, which is nice. And just render our component. Now the second arguments to the render function is the element, the node, right? So get element by ID and inside our index.html we have this section, so I will use it. And that's it. Let's see our server. So first time it will load, it will take some time actually to load in your machine because it needs to convert uh, React and React DOM into web modules, but it, since this is uh, since I already did this, that's why it's fast. So as you can see, here is React DOM, and here is React. So let me just refresh and notice now the console or the terminal here. So as you can see, after three seconds, React and React DOM have been loaded, and now our component actually works as you can see. So very interesting uh, stuff actually. And let me show you the network tab. So this is our component to JS, not to JSX, because it will be converted to JavaScript. And if you open it and take a look, see it have been converted into JavaScript, not JSX. As you can see, React, the JSX will be converted to this React to create element. The element is section. I'm not sure what is null. Maybe the props. Now this is the inner element, which is button, and so on. And if you ever wondered why you need to import React like this. So you need to import this variable called the act in this way, in this exact way, because when you compile your JSX, it will be like this. It will try to access a, a global variable in this current module called React. That's why you need to actually import it. That's the only reason, if you ever wonder. So, 
I think that's would be it for uh, I, or I think this is will actually get get you started with react you can split your code do anything you want but uh, this is the only thing that I don't like I'm not sure why I need to do this so let's try with like this I don't think it will work yeah as you can see it won't work I need to get the default export then rename it or just do this I mean you are free right you can do anything you want and uh, now let's just destruct my component and that's it you can do this and this will work so now everything has been loaded and it will work yeah I think this is it for dealing with um, React. Remember, just you can import things dynamically like this. I think this will make very huge difference in Snowpack. The, the idea that you can import things only when you need them. And this is actually how you will write code. You won't just put everything at the top like it, which is very bad. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope this was useful. Bye-bye.